Here's the ENS manifold and turbo that's going on the 335XI. We use the HX40 with a 62 millimeter compressor wheel and 64 millimeter turbine. Same turbo that we're using on the Volkswagen. The turbine housing is a T3.82 with an interlocking V-band. So 64 by 76 millimeter turbine. The manifold, we just use the original flanges and then we use, what was this pipe size? Two and a half? Two inch. Two inch pipe and welded bungs for the O2 sensors. Then we're going to have an external wastegate. That's a teal external wastegate. We welded the nuts on here so that we could bolt it directly to the flange. This is a T3 flange. A lot of the manifolds out there are T4 that are top mounts. I really like this blanket right here. It fits this housing really well. And I think it looks really cool too. I'll take this off. This is the OEM compressor housing and EM machine the front out and flared it. So you don't have that area where the where the silencer sits anymore and then he flared it here and then we machined it for the billet compressor wheel this was all trimmed off so we can put a coupler right on it and then a t-bolt clamp the drain what size is this three-fourths i think three-fourths so we made it extra big so we won't have any problems with it blowing oil because the oil can't escape. Ian had to cut this a lot to be able to make the fitment for the firewall. And then he port matched it to the flange on the manifold, which is a Rev9 flange or flange from Rev9. I don't really like the flange on the manifold because it's bigger than the T3 flange. So you really have to like gasket match it. To make it flow right. All professionally TIG welded. Ian said not to show that to you. Firewall clearance. Where's the other spot you had to put? <laughs> Let's pretend you're not seeing that. What were you trying to clear right there anyway? I don't know. I think... All professional stainless steel. Oh, it was, uh, I don't know what we're saying there. I don't know. So this, this is going to go right here. Wait. This will go right here. Wait. This will go. Wait. How does this go? It goes like this. Like that. And it goes like this. No, it oh, can't wait. go like that. It goes like this. And then this. We'll go right here. Ah, uh, yeah, I see that now. Perfect. So did you find the studs? No, I didn't. He has to have them in his pocket or something. There's no other reason. No other explanation. Unless they're under the motor somehow. 
It would kind of make sense to put one of those GT35R turbos on this or something. That way it's more compact. You know, the front of the whole set reaches out. That way you can make the flange all the way up closer to the front. And just put it right here. My friends at Maximum PSI. Who's your friends at Maximum PSI? Whatever, uh, that Jordan guy. Oh yeah. And then he didn't even buy, the Maximum PSI guy didn't even buy his turbos. And went with pure turbo. Like I can't. Beautiful. Uh, it may help if we just move the motor. Where do you want to move it to? To the passenger side? I mean the driver's side? That's all for this video. Tomorrow we're going to do the installation on of the turbo being put on. So if we get to do that tomorrow, I'll be sure that we film that too.